Hey, what's going on, man? Hola, amigo. Como estas? Guten Tag, wie geht's dir? Another sub replay. This is Virus 3D. We've had good, two really good game pimps from this guy before, PHK Clan, and his IS-6 is on Prokhorovka. Again, he's got really two good, great nail-biter replays. One where he... It was a real... What's the way to put it? A bummer at the end. He, he, he just got... The other team got lucky and killed him. But the other one was a, was a great one and made up for it. Then he ends up winning that one. But anyway, long story short. IS-6 on Prokhorovka. Let's see how he can do here. Immediately right off the bat, we're not even a mi two minutes into this game, and we're already down two tanks. Granted, they're tier six and a tier five, and we're in a tier eight game. This is gonna be a nice shot. Ooh, above. I don't know how that one missed. I guess the hand of Stalin wasn't there on that one. But that T69 basically covered up the entire radical, so I don't know what happened there. Just one of those rather unlucky f shots. And a bounce. Must have hit the auto loader on the top. Now they're down three tanks, and they do have two already pieces, too. There, this should be a hit. There we go. Some nice positioning he's got there. Kind of, kind of healed down here. Just peeking over the top. I have some decent gun depression on this IS-6. Six or is it three? Six. Man, just when you think they're coming back a little bit, they lose two more tanks. I mean, granted, they did knock out two tier six, tier eight tanks on the opposing team, but they've got one of their tier eights knocked out on a tier seven tank destroyer. So they're really trading t trading uh, kills here. And I'd say that the other team is ahead. Well, no, they're definitely ahead with that IS three kill. Fire is just a touch behind that T thirty four. Yeah, from this distance, I don't really think there's gonna be a way that you can you can get a hit on that guy. Well, he must be spotted now, though. Those T26s are real buggers, you know that. They're real buggers. Ooh, you're getting pretty unlucky here, bro. Get a little side shot on that T26. Oh, oh man. Oh, jeez. And then the one time he doesn't zoom in, he gets a hit for 385. Come on, gun. Ugh. You really can't shoot at those things from the front. Unless you aim for basically like kind of like a cheek on that. There you go. See, now look how he's angling. He's aiming towards the back of it. Don't worry. He might have just tracked him there, but if he gets another shot in on him. Oh, the T26 is gone anyway. 
but you can't shoot those things from the front. Basically, if you're looking at that turret, oh, that was a nice one, 100%. He must have ammo racked that guy. Cold blooded, <laughs> yeah. You got lucky there, son. But yeah, those T26s, you gotta aim at the, kind of like a cheek area on that turret. That's where you can actually pin those things from the front. Otherwise, when they angle like that, then you can shoot them in the side or at least attempt to. But that was a nice hit on that bulldog, getting that ammo rack. But it goes to show something else that's really interesting about Virus 3D here is that the dude knows the tanks, does he not? If he knows where the ammo rack is on these different tanks, like on the Bulldog. Pretty freaking amazing to know that. That's something that'll just come with time too. Don't worry all you new players that are just watching these videos. I don't expect you to and you don't have to know all these different... There we go. Now we're threading the needle. That was a good shot. You see, he looked towards the back, and there wasn't enough. There wasn't enough angle to shoot on that T69. So then he moved the gun, moved his uh, aim to the front, moved the shot to the front, and that's where he hit him. It was a very good shot. This dude is very aware of how he's how he's playing, where he's shooting, what's going on. He's aware of the other tanks that he's shooting at, like he saw with the Amarac info. Yeah, there you go. Block him in there. Don't let him get out of there. Good. Very good job. That's a big hit from the ISU or the SU-152. So now they got it. Now they got this one in the bag. Two already left, one tank destroyer. I kind of feel like the the opposing team kind of threw us away a little bit too. Like that T29 was way out there for no reason. The T the T yeah, T69, right? That's what that is. Yeah, T-69 at the end there, he kind of threw his tank away. Why not just sit back? He had close to, what, 450, 500 health because he put two shots into him. Why not sit back and, and try to pick off another tank? If you When you push forward one by one like that, that's when you make yourself an easy, easy target to get destroyed. There's one. There's the other one. 
Ah, uh, T25, all the way up in the north. Yeah, I'd say the opposing team here did a really good job, but they kind of gave it away towards the end. They got a little probably impatient, frustrated, started rushing out there for no reason, and that's the end of it. Good job though for virus sticking with it because this could be one of those ones where you just, you know, you're just not feeling it. Just not feeling it, you're bouncing all the time. And I, I mean, we all have these games, right? I know I've certainly had them where you're just bouncing and you're bouncing and you're bouncing. And then the next thing you know, you're just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just getting frustrated. It's just everything's not working out for me. I bounce and I hit the tracks and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and I'm like, blah, screw it. Just gonna go run up there and get killed so i don't even want to play anymore that's the kind of stuff that i usually i get into that zone but virus stuck with it put himself nice uh three nice kills out of the whole deal and uh, well let's take a look at the stats to see to see exactly how he did okay so they have a zeke here for a victory mastery bad second class better than 80 percent of the other tankers with the is6 he got a top gun or no, not, not Top Gun, I'm sorry. High Caliber by the looks of it. And I'm not sure what that metal is to the left of that. Destroyed four tanks, as you can see there. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so he dealt 3,974 total damage and received 1,103 experience. It's pretty darn good there, isn't it? Pretty darn good. Looks like that's the most. That's the most on his team. The next guy's got, so let's see, 2637 from that RD piece, the M40. As far as the opposite team goes, their best player had 2194. So, yeah, the T25 at the end that got killed. He had the most points for the opposite team, and Virus did for our team. Let's go on to the final slide. And we have 20 shots fired, 15 hits, 10 pens. He did bounce. He did bounce quite a bit, and he had quite a few misses too. Just but that's just the way it works sometimes. I think uh let's see. So he was hit 12 times, 2 pens, 10 bounces. He earned a total of 75,500 credits. Spent 2,700 to repair the vehicle. And he was damaged pretty well too. That's not that much to repair this thing. Especially not for a tier, tier 8 tank. And uh, resupply the ammo. Basically about 1,000... Uh, 1,000 credits around for a total of 20,500. So it was about 1,000 credits around. Really good game. Really good game here. Again, way to stick with it. Way to keep your patience and way to, you know, way to keep pounding the way at them, doing all the things right. Picking your shots, all that kind of jazz. I know, man, I, trust me. I feel you. I know how it is when all these shots are bouncing and they're hitting the tracks and all that, but Got to stick with it, and that's what Virus here did. He stuck with it, and he ended up having a pretty darn good game when it was all said and done. So with that, congratulations. Uh, please leave a like, a, any comments down below as well, and um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber for more World of Tanks and other video game action. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye.